very cold, so uh, certainly not going to be hot enough to melt any of that ice. No, I mean, we're talking potentially deadly cold temperatures. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be bad. Let's get right into it. A lot to talk about. Under a winter storm watch for a good portion of the state, we're talking until 11 a.m. Wednesday. Our storm starts tomorrow, and then it really gets exciting as we get into Monday and then Wednesday. As we look to our left, our west, we see our moisture source coming from the Pacific, making its way over to Mexico. That's the first piece. The second piece will dip down from the north. And they'll kind of combine in the middle with a cold front, which will be a great source for really firing off snow. So as we get into the next 24 hours, we're going to fire things up. Our low does make its way across Arizona. We're talking mountain snow tomorrow afternoon, morning into afternoon, and then as we get into Monday night and Tuesday, we're going to spread that snow. So possibly some valley rain showers, but where it's cold enough for snow, we'll have it, but mainly the mountains for Monday afternoon. Our cold front starts to edge in Monday night as that system crosses, and that will drop our snow levels fast and furiously as we get into the Monday night, Tuesday night time frame, and that's when things really pick up. This is what we're talking about. Now, this storm's track has been changing day by day, so it still could change from the time uh, today until Tuesday. But we're looking at heavy mountain snow, a foot or more possible. Areas favored right now are going to be the San Juans, the northern mountains, San Sangre de Cristos, and even in the northeast. Also, east slopes favored. So even the east mountains into the Sandia and Manzanos, I'm not saying it's going to happen, could pick up maybe a foot of snow, but we're talking at least a few inches of snow. East Mountains favored from the central mountain chain uh, to about the Continental Divide and maybe even some heavy snow in the Sacramento Mountains. Moderate valley accumulations, we're talking anywhere from two to six inches, but that number could go up depending where the cold air meets the moisture and if the timing is just right. And then the bigger story and the uh, serious story is going to be very, very cold temperatures and wind behind this thing. These are daytime highs for Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday. Single digits here, only a high of seven on Wednesday in Las Vegas, only a high of six in Raton. When we go into the overnight hours and add the wind, we're talking double digit uh, wind chills. So that is deadly cold for people, plants, and animals. So we want to be very careful. Even in Roswell, very cool temperatures only in the 20s for Tuesday and Wednesday. And if you think about it, we've been in the 70s for the weekend. Cold temperatures in Tucumcari, Albuquerque, and Santa Fe, the change won't be as drastic, but these are still very cold temperatures for us, only a high of 22 on Wednesday, and in Santa Fe, only a high of 21 on Tuesday and 14 on Wednesday, and then overnight lows are going to be even worse. So a lot coming up is what we can expect. And taking a look at our future track, we show a lot of snow tomorrow uh, evening, and then you see that cold front pulling through and really spreading the snow down the central mountain chain as we get into the overnight hours and Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be a mess, so any travel to the north, you want to be very, very careful. 55 degrees right now in Albuquerque statewide. Just starting to see that cold air nudge into the northeast but it really makes its way in Monday night. Let's do the numbers here. Northwest New Mexico, this is what you can expect. Clouds, snow showers tomorrow, maybe picking up a few inches by the time it's said and done in Durango in Farmington. Uh, that is Monday night into Tuesday, and then another dose for us uh, Tuesday in Farmington. Temperature's going to fall fast in the four corners. Southwest New Mexico will start out with some uh, rain during the day, and then in the mountain regions it'll be snow, and then changing to all snow overnight uh, into Monday. And then we'll be looking to the Sacramento Sacramento Mountains for our heaviest snow activity in the southeast, but Roswell could even pick a couple uh, up a couple of inches by the time this is all said and done uh, Wednesday night, it's looking like. And then seven-day forecast, look at those temperatures in Roswell, Monday 66, and then only in the 20s for Tuesday and Wednesday. And when temperatures are this low, you don't need a whole lot of moisture to crank out a lot of snow. So snow showers in the northeast tonight, tomorrow night, heavy at times, especially on the east side of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, Mora, Las Vegas, tone. You guys could really be in for it. You want to keep it tuned to News 13 for the latest updates on this one because this could be a real mess on our hands. Santa Fe expects snow showers getting into tomorrow afternoon and then well into Tuesday and even Wednesday. It's going to be a busy few days and look at those temperatures. Very, very cold. Overnight lows will be in the negative territory. East Mountains, another bullseye point as we get into tomorrow. We're talking some serious snow accumulations possible for East Mountain communities. Here in the metro, Rain chance as we get into tomorrow and switching over to all snow by Monday night and seven-day forecast shows temperatures very, very cold, eventually rebounding by next weekend. Okay, thank you, Ian. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup here on KRQE. 60 minutes is